So Kyle the Cougar Champ, a lot of you probably know who he is. A lot of you probably don't. So I'm going to play a little clip here to bring you guys all up to speed who who those who are and not familiar with your boy. The gr- My name's Kyle. I'm 31. I live in Pittsburgh and I'm addicted fucking to dating older women. Where's the fucking mouse button? Much older Jesus women. Jesus Christ, I couldn't find it. <laughs> Right. Like 60, 70, 80 year old older women. I love everything about older women. I love the smell. I love the feel. <laughs> I love the mentality. You have something to say? No, I just, I <laughs> love that he says I love the smell. Yeah, I love the smell. It's like, I want to actually <laughs> ask him, what do they smell like? What is, what is, how, how do, how do they smell like? What is the smell? Because when I think of older women, I think like, like, musky closet like closet of old yeah clothes. like a stinky house that i guess he likes that maybe he likes <laughs> the smell of old socks i don't know i love dentures women you know they Do can you be seriously so like about dentures? dentures ladies i promise you telling your man that you have dentures will not turn him off it'll put a smile on his face it'll put a smile on his pants <laughs> okay i want to know who wrote that line for him <laughs> hold on the dentures dentures <laughs> will Put a smile in your pants. So anyway, this guy, he's really enthusiastic. And actually what we found out after we made this video is that, well, he's dating a 91-year-old currently. Or I don't know if she's still In around. one of the videos, at least. <laughs> but he, we later discovered he makes porn. He's a pornographer. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, he fucks <laughs> old ladies on camera. I don't know if that's his <laughs> primary business, but I have so many questions for him. <laughs> So with that being said, let's let's bring him out, man. Kyle, uh, let's grab him. <laughs> Kyle, the Cougar champion, are you there? Hey, it's good to be here, man. I'm kind of under the weather. <laughs> I have a cold, but um, yeah, good to be here. You sound great, man. Don't worry about it. But uh, first of all, let me just say what an honor and a thrill it is to be in the presence of the one and only Cougar <laughs> champion. Is that some? Is that a title you've given yourself, or was that anointed by others? That was something, um, when I decided I was going to do porn, I had to pick a name, and that's just the name I came up with. And there's a hell of an echo while I'm talking to you. Oh, maybe it's because it's so loud oh, here oh, 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 in oh, our oh. room. Yeah, let me fix that. Dan, he, he's got uh, feedback. Can you hear me, Dan? Yeah, you know what? Here, let me, uh, it's kind of loud in there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a little bit loud, down, probably. Should, All right, Kyle, doesn't... go ahead. Try that now. Okay. Can you <laughs> Is hear that me? better? I can hear you. Well, that's much better. Thank okay, you. okay, okay great. Better. So, um, you had this great... Well, first of all, what is it actually... You were dated a 91-year-old, right? Okay, um, at the time that video was shooting, they they portrayed it, or they wrote it as if we were dating. Her and I were never dating. We were, you know, we were having fun, we were fucking a lot, we were doing our thing, we were friends. Um, but we were never together. I mean, I rarely ever get involved on, you know, um, monogamy exclusively with anyone. That's very rare for me. So, I guess, well, did you, were you having sex with the 91-year-old? Oh, yeah, the lady in the video, the, um, my transition video, yeah, we were fucking for a while, and you know I was fucking <laughs> because you saw the, um, my, my Twitter page, Cougar Champion, the porn was all over there. Oh, was that with her? I, I honestly had to, I couldn't hang for that long, dude, I'm sorry. There was a video. She had some tats around her nipples. I was like, "Damn, this lady's fucking really seen some shit." Oh no, when, no, that's that's someone different. Like you're talking about Shirley, the one that was in the um, that was in the Strange Addiction. That was actually no. no well, let me ask you this: when one. you're when you're slamming on a on a 91 year old, are you more? Do you have to be more gentle? Because I know you you have quite a bit of range. You'll go anywhere from like 70. To a hundred, I don't know where you draw the line, but like, are you more gentle when you when you slam dunk on older ladies? I would say no. You know the video that you posted um, in the piece of it on me where it showed me kissing a lady that was like ninety one. Yeah. Okay, we've done porn together. With her, I never went easy. I never took these. I can fuck the hell out of her. <laughs> Damn. Porn Damn. Together. Were you ever, well, are you, are you ever, con- are you ever concerned about damaging the goods? I mean, one wrong <laughs> thrust could be, could be a, could be the last one. Well, actually, as of recently, yes, I am, because I've sent two women to the hospital with broken pussies, literally. No! Oh, you broke pussies, dude? Tell me about that situation. Okay, so I was with this one lady, and she claimed that she hadn't had sex in, say, like, 15 years. She was still married. So we were we went out a couple of times. The second time we went to this hotel, we were drinking and whatnot. 
Um, we got down, like, I did that one move where you put her legs, like, way back. We put, like, her knees Ooh, on her chest. Ooh, that doesn't seem good for an old lady. Wait, that kind of too hard, and I went too deep, and I broke it. <laughs> what? So, when we got to the hospital, the doctors look up inside her, and they say there was a tear in the back of her pussy. It looked like a smiley face. So, they had to stitch her up. We couldn't do anything for, like, six weeks. How did that make um, you feel? So did yeah, you feel bad or accomplished? A little bit of both, actually. A little <laughs> bit of both. Has anyone ever died while while you've been in a, in a relationship with them? Yes, actually, uh, Marge died at 94. Um, Connie, who's on the website, she passed away last year. Um, Linda passed away. Damn. Um, there's I'd... a lot of Linda that passed away as well, but none of them passed away, like, while I was seeing them. It was more or less, you know, we kept in touch the whole time, but yeah, four of right. them passed away. Does are that... you are you like in touch with their family when someone passes away? Like, are you, do you go to the funeral? Huh. Um, actually, one time I got a phone call from a grandson. The lady that was ninety one that you showed the video of me and her kissing. Her grandson called me up and was just like, you know, hey man, I just want to say thanks for you showing her a good time. I'm glad you know, I know she really liked you. You guys had a lot of fun. Just thanks. That was that really meant a lot. That, that was I was weird to receive that phone call. It really meant a lot though. Hmm. Um, does it, how do you feel like when, when they pass away and is, is that like a, like what's the, what's the emotion that you experience? Because you, you got to know when you get, when you get with these ladies that that's a strong possibility, right? That they, they're, they're on an expiry date. Well, I mean, actually there's been, other than the ones that I passed only two of them really hit me. I mean, the one in the video where I was kissing Marge, I mean, I felt bad when she died. And then I actually felt bad for not feeling as bad as I thought I should have felt. <laughs> the one that really got to me, the one that really got to me was Connie. Um, Wait, Connie, Connie is the, the one from the video. Zach Wilde, the song In This River. Sorry? Connie's the one from the video, right? The, the one that was too young for you. Uh, I'm not sure you're saying. Oh, oh that, no, no. She was an actress, and so was the one oh. in the video. Okay. Oh. The only one that really got to me is the one that died, um, Connie. When she died, I cried like a bitch when Connie died. Damn. Wow. Well, uh, damn, Doug. Tell me about... T- I mean, I, she was a lot man. She could really hang. We were like, drinking party together. We would, you know, she was just incredible. Man. She was just wow. So, when you mentioned that dentures put a smile in your pants, like, was that something that, that you offered to the camera, or was that something that the producers helped you dream up? As much as I hate to admit it, that was just total ad lib. And it's f- I love how you say that line of like, I guarantee you, all men love your dentures. Do you think that all men want to fuck old ladies? Or I think um, I think once you experience a gum job, a you'll, gum that job. will definitely set the standard. Is that what yeah. it's all about? Once you experience it, yeah. Can yeah. You... Once you give a gum job, that sets a, it sets a new standard. So tell, describe a gum job to me. I mean, it's it's getting a blow job, but like there's no there's no chance of teeth scraping your shit up. Right. And do you ask for a gum job or a blow job when you when you present the opportunity to them? Well, there's a lot of times where I can look at the woman, I can tell she has dentures. So you know, I won't bring it up at first. Let's say let's say she's going down on me. But at some point, I ask her to take her teeth out. And usually, at first, she'll be nervous about. I'm like, babe, it's cool. Trust me, it feels way better with the mouth. Damn. And then they pop out the dentures and it's all about the gum at that point. It's a GJ. They'll do it. I mean, yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole thing is like, don't, don't be an asshole about it when you ask for it. You know, just, you know, just, you have to do it correctly. So when you notice that a girl has dentures, does that excite you? It's definitely a plus, but it's not a requirement. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> sure, yeah. it's like bonus points, basically. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like if she shaves her pussy, you know, she doesn't have to, but it's fucking bonus points that she does. Now you had mentioned that when you slam on these old ladies, you'll even put their legs up behind their heads. That is a bit of a yeah. shock to me. I was going to ask what position you engage them because they're somewhat seem to be somewhat fragile. But in it, it seems like are you trying to break them? Is that part of the thrill? No, I'm actually not trying to break them at all. I mean, you'd be surprised at how I guess spry some of these women are. I mean, the craziest sex I ever had was with this lady. She was 64 years old, and. It was as crazy as the point we were getting her pull. I would hold her head underwater while I fucked her in her ass. I mean, <laughs> that is the, crazy. She was up for, Who yeah, now? I mean, wait, how do you get to that point? How does sex get to that point? 
On the other hand, you did break two pussies recently. <laughs> yeah, out of over 100. Over 100. I was going to ask. Oh. Well, um, Dan, by the way, the audio is a little fucked. Is there anything to do about that? I'm working on, uh, I tried to adjust the EQ a little bit, but honestly, it just sounds like his reception is getting a little crackly. Okay. Yeah. Um, how many, how many ladies, old ladies would you say you've slammed by now? I'm not going to give an exact number, but we'll say it's over 100. Do you have the exact number? Of course I do. You keep, oh, you do. You keep behind. Why? Why do you? I'm curious. Why do you keep that guarded? That exact number. Um, because someone that I care about a lot is listening right now. Well, you already said over a hundred. Like, I mean, what's the big? What can be really be that big of a difference? <laughs> well, yeah, this lady. Um, this lady. I call her. What? Oh, what is that? Hang on. Uh, this lady I call her fancy pants or sassy pants. Why not? She's listening right now. Um, fuck it. As far as I know, it's a uh, okay. The, I started a tracking system. I have a folder on my computer. Try to get a picture of every woman I ever slept with. And in the folder is a subfolder of every you know woman's name and whatever. And there's 136 folders in there right now. Damn. And it has Whoa. like pictures and shit, like nudes. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And there's, there's pictures. There's videos. You there, have all whatever. the permission to get I that mean, stuff. Well, I mean, well, they they want to take the picture. But I mean, just because I have a picture of her doesn't mean she's gonna end up online. That's sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tracking system. Yeah. Wow, is that shit like? Wow, that's pretty gnarly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you keep yeah. like hair or anything like that? <laughs> no, that, that's pretty fucked up. No, no, no. <laughs> what about ash? <laughs> Has anyone been cremated and have you collected their ash? <laughs> that's even more fucked up. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you this. Have you ever been put in someone's will? Not that I'm aware of, but I never received shit after anyone died. It's not that I'm aware of that. Because it, may, it would I make... I guess to further answer your question, I've never received anything from a dead person died. Because hmm. it would make sense that these... Because these old ladies, they really... I mean, you guys have, like, emotional bonds. Like, they really... It's a beautiful thing when you come into their lives. They seem very happy to have that companionship. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if they're like, you know what, I want to leave this guy a little bit of something. I mean, there has been. I mean, that, that's. Well, I really, I really like the way you worded that just now. You actually worded that very well. But I mean, a lot of times people look at me and they stereotype me. It's like, you're just fucking them for the money, but you're fucking them because they're going to give you this and that. Right. Um, you actually just gave me way too much credit just now saying the whole emotional thing. It's actually mm. rare that it becomes like an emotional thing. I mean, because really? most of the time, it, I, most of the time, huh. it's just, most of the time, it's just alcohol and sex. Most of the time, I would, but I would a actually few here and there that I actually like. I would, I would assume the difference is because they're kind of lonely old ladies, and now someone all of a sudden's interested in them. It's like re-sparking older flames. You know, it makes sense to me that they're like, it's a more of an emotional thing for them than than a sexual one. I mean, these women have all been through menopause, um, right? No, because I mean, usually the majority of the time it's alcohol and staying up fucking all night. That's the majority of the time. But then occasionally there are ones here and there, like um, the lady that's listening right now. I took her to go see Nonpoint last weekend. You know the rock band Nonpoint? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, well, I took her to see. Well, it's a rock band. I took her to see them on um, last week, and we had drinks and blah blah. It was fun. I mean, here and there, I mean, I took one lady to go see Nine Inch Nails, took one lady to go see Marilyn Manson. Mm. I took um, two ladies to Mexico. Um, there are ones that are, that, you know, you do have bonds or relationships with, but the majority of the time it's just sex. That's interesting, because if you hook up with an old lady, is she always coming at you with, like, the texts and shit? Like, what's it like to be texted at by an old lady who doesn't even re really know how to use a phone? Or maybe that's a plus for you. <laughs> loose ends, no loose that ends. That is a huge... That is a huge misconception. I used to work mm -hmm. for a major cell phone provider. I, you know, I was in I was in the stores. These old people know how to use cell phones. Absolutely, I've gotten pictures of like pussies and tits and videos of them <laughs> no. doing shit. On, you know, that, that were being texted to me for me in their sixties and seventies. Have you? What's the? Um, I wasn't like to get a text with them. 
What's the richest old lady you've been with? Do you have you ever landed like a real rich sugar mama who like took you to nice dinners and stuff? I never asked for any of that shit, but I mean, I would say the one, also too, I, I never Googled their net worth. I never looked at how much they're worth, but there was one that if I had to guess was probably the most well off. I was dating um, a lady in Pittsburgh who was like a head nurse of somewhere. Hmm. And um, at one point she says to me, she goes, you know, I'm basically rich. I'm going to move to Florida. I want you to come with me. Hmm. And I looked at her. I said, no. I told her, no. And she goes, why not? I was, I was like, she goes, why not? I was like, oh, I would hate you in a week. I've become a fucking appliant. You'd own me. No. Hmm. So then it was funny. I went off to the military. Like after, after that, I went off to the military. I'm sitting there in Iraq. I'm telling the story to my friends, and my friends are like, man, you're an asshole. I'm like, why? Well, you could be in Florida smoking a blunt, letting some grandma take care of you, but no, you're <laughs> in fucking Iraq. You're a dumbass. You know, so. <laughs> but uh, again, like, I, I, never, I, never, I never researched their net worth, but I don't give a fuck. I, mean, I, I see them because I actually Well, like I, I, I will definitely oh. say, and to your credit, that you don't fuck 130 old women if, if it's about money. That's mm -hmm. love for some old, wet right. grandma pussy right there. Let me ask you. You oh, yeah. said in the in the video that when you were in high school, you realized you were attracted to older ladies because you had this hot older teacher, and that's when you realized you were attracted to old ladies. I feel like there's more to that story. I feel like uh, this lifelong fetish has got to be born from something a little bit more than that. Did what, did you have a relationship with her? Oh, you saw the Showtime piece too. Wow. Okay. I did. I didn't mm -hmm. see that one. I'm, no. I'm referencing the in the TLC. You just made a brief anecdote about. Uh, it started when, oh, or maybe, okay, okay. yeah, I don't, I don't know, but anyway. Oh, so anyway, that, the teacher that I was referencing, honestly, I never touched her, you know. I, and I see these stories in the news all the time about these teachers fucking their students, like, wherever they were when I was a kid. I can say the first older woman I ever had, I mean, I was 17, she was 34. That, that doesn't even fucking count these days. Not, not to me, it doesn't. Um, she was um, a high school, no, she was an art teacher at some college. And I, she was introduced to me by a friend at school and introduced me to her mom. But that was, that didn't even count. I mean, because nowadays, but I don't even look at you kind of six You're just, you were just born being into older ladies? I feel like that kind of stuff, like, like nothing ever happened weird with an older lady? Like, she, you know? Nothing. No, no. I mean, to me, I always respond to that question by saying this. I ask, you know, why do you like grandmas? That's like asking a gay guy why he likes guys. I mean, you just do. I mean, you know, you're, people are wired how they're wired, and that's hmm. just what you're into. Interesting. Do you, uh... I'm sorry, I'm actually... I'll go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead. The, the oldest lady you've dated is 91, right? Or was there anyone older than that? <laughs> I wouldn't say we were dating, but, like, the last time or her and that I had you, sex, you she fucked, was whatever. Yeah, fucked. Yeah, the last time her and I had sex, she was 93 last time. 93. Hmm. You know, you're talking about, I cannot imagine an athletic 93-year-old. I've never met a 93-year-old that wasn't just, like, on the verge of death. You know what's funny about that? Um, the, the last time her and I had sex, she was 93. That video is on my website right now. Guys, you can watch it. It's on there right now. It's on over there right now, guys. Is this your full-time job that you're a pornographer? No, no, not even close. I don't make I don't make nearly as much as anyone would think. I mean, it's it's basically bullshit money. I mean, I don't make it's not enough to quit my job. Not even close. Not even close. Hmm. What is your full time job? I'm not going to disclose that. Oh, okay. Uh, cause I will say this. I mean, I will say uh, a couple of years ago, I had a, I had a great job that I really liked, and it, it was just amazing. And then I got found out at work, yeah. and they fired me because of the porn. They, just, they fired me because of that. Yeah. You feel discriminated but against I mean, no. because you're into old ladies? Not really. I mean, I've heard some really funny jokes over the years. And I mean, by the way, like the piece you did on your um, the YouTube video was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was great. But, I mean, I've heard some really, I've heard some really funny jokes. I've heard some really shitty jokes over the years. Um, <laughs> I really, I, I look at it depending on the context. I mean, when I was um, in the Marines years ago, there was some serious assholery towards what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Some serious fuckery. Right? Um, but was there, then, did you, were, you, yeah, I actually, were you able to fuck any old ladies what? while you were over in Iraq? Was there any locals that you got down with? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, <laughs> man, that must have been hard, that dry spell. Yeah, it was. But I had, I had, I had uh, plenty of porn in the loop, so it was all good. Oh, shit. Oh, so speaking you... of loop, I want, to tell you, I, want to, I want to tell you this quick story real quick. I had this lady or this girl when I was in Pittsburgh. She was in her 20s fucking threw herself at me. 
So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Why not? So we're like, I was like, whatever. I, I got to use lube, and she, she she gets pissed off and offended because I want to use lube. She goes, you know, I'm not some dried up old lady. I'm like, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We're using lube. I swear, she tapped out, said I'm done 15 minutes into it. And I told her, I know women who are literally three times your age and go all night. I don't give a fuck if you're 18 or if you're 80. Use Astroglide. It makes it better. You guys heard it here <laughs> from the cougar champ himself. Um, what kind of lube do you use? Is it like silicon-based, water-based? What do you like? Astroglide. I'm sorry, Astroglide. If I go to a store that? to look for Astroglide, they don't have Astroglide, I'll go to another store. <laughs> yeah, right. Astroglide. But what is it about Astroglide? Does it have a certain base that like gets it done more than other ones? Because I know there's different types of lubes made out of different types of uh, materials. Um, it's water based. I've, I've tried the silicone base before. I'm not really a fan of it. But something about Astroglide, they just get it right. It's Let me very, ask you, very slippery. It doesn't what? You've had a sex with a lot of people. What's the uh, weirdest thing you've ever lubed with? Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I, I guess I guess when there's no lube on you, you can use spit. I mean, but, but of course, I mean, I've used coconut oil. Coconut oil, I've used that before. Coconut oil when nothing's around. I've heard that before. That's not that weird. I was hoping for like mayonnaise. Yeah, I've used, I've used, uh, I knew you were yeah, hoping for mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Have you ever considered using mayonnaise as a lubricant? <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. That's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, old ladies like mayonnaise. It's flavorful. That is so not funny, but no, that's bullshit. No, not at all. So is that the craziest sex? Ex- by the way, I'm I'm going back to this image of you dunking an old lady's head in a bucket of water while while having anal coitus with her. Is that the craziest moment of sex you've had in your life? Because that's quite a striking image. It wasn't a bucket of water. We were in the pool and I held her head underwater while I fucked her in her ass. Um, was, was it a communal the craziest pool? Thing. <laughs> no, it was a pool at her house. Okay. <laughs> I would say probably um, threesomes was, well, I, I did have a threesome one time with a lady that was there in her 70s and a lady that was in her 80s together. That was fun. Whoa, a granny threesome. That's crazy. Damn, I can't believe that. Was that. Fun. that was fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, okay, basically the reason that you reached out to us is because you thought the show mischaracterized you. So, so tell me about how they mischaracterized you. Oh, it was so full of shit. I mean, from start to finish, I mean, first off, the lady... The only way that I meet in the, um, when, when her and I meet in the diner, find a wife, walk up and say hi, that was literally the first time I'd ever talked to her or seen her. Mm. Um, she's an actress out of New York. So mm-hmm. I want to say she lives like in Long Island, I think it is. So the show and the hired her? Actress as well. The show hired her, yes. Absolutely. Huh. She was an actress. Mm. Absolutely. Do you think she was the actually whole thing interested was her in her and I on the show? What's that? Do you think she was interested? And me, you know, I think she was there to get paid, but me, I mean, I want to fuck her, absolutely, but I mean, she was an actor, I mean, whatever, so I mean, even the, the image on the on the screen where they show, you know, where I'm supposedly looking at this dating website, no, that was a JPEG image, I'm guessing they just <laughs> photoshopped her picture over the... <laughs> that's what? funny. Well, okay, but like, they didn't misrepresent your character, right? I mean, that situation was set up, but it could have been real. Um, it's based on the reality. Yeah, it's based they on the real very... Well, I mean, they were very, they, they kind of just let me do my thing for the most part, but there was a lot of coaching as well. They're like, okay, we need you to be more emotional here. We need you to go more of this and more of that. Um, they were also very liberal with my, they didn't care. It was almost like the more I drank, they were happy about it. Really? Like, you know, mm-hmm. I was, I was, the majority of the time I filmed that, I was fucking loaded. The majority really? of the time. Really? Wow. I mean, there's, there's even times where you can see, if you look, if you look at like when I'm sitting there talking, my eyes look red in some of the videos. <laughs> right. fucking loaded. Wow, that's interesting. That's strange. So they did they try to? Pu- I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, uh, huh? Did they try to push you to be like more, more outrageous, outrageous than yeah. you are? You felt? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah I mean, sure. that a makes lot sense. of stuff was their idea. I mean, like the whole like you know, okay, we want you to feed her the fucking mozzarella stick. Okay, now <laughs> we want you to do. Yeah, okay. Tell us, tell us what you think about this. And they was you know when when she was standing there talking. She was basically doing an ad lib. It was, it was like an improv. Basically. So, really? so yeah. how do you how do you find older women to date? Do you use dating websites? So the majority of the time, I use dating websites like um, Plenty of Fish is a good one. Um, meet Me is a good one. Um, those are the two main. Tinder's bullshit. I actually did meet this one grandma off Tinder, so, and I was looking for Tinder. Was like sixty something <laughs> blonde. Tinder, yeah, she was on Tinder. I was happy as hell about meeting her, but when I got there. 
She wouldn't have shut the fuck up about her all electric car and her fucking veganism and her fucking activism. She would not shut up. Uh, just like, uh, no, just no. So you no. wouldn't you wouldn't close the deal. She wouldn't shut up about electric cars. So too much talking. Yeah, too much talking. That's a deal breaker for the cougar champ. Do you have you ever oh, done no, anything? Not even that. Let like, me. She was, it was so one sided. Have you ever mm. been to a retirement community and like scoped out the goods there or anything like that? Be honest. I've done better than that. I've, I've done better than that. I've actually had sex in a um, retirement one of the assisted living facilities. Is that illegal? That seems so fucked up. <laughs> the only thing I happened. So I met this lady online, and um, I go to meet her. It turns out she actually lives in one of these assisted living facilities. Damn. So like, even me, even me. Assisted living, like, bro. Dude. You're gonna tell me an assisted <laughs> living lady can fuck like a gymnast? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. But even, Come on. even me sometimes, like, I, I get there and I'm walking in and I'm like, seeing them once they're like out of their cages or out of their rooms already, I'm like, okay, okay. And then I walk in towards the room and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You're still going to hell. You got backstage passes to hell for this. But yeah, fuck it, whatever. So I walk in there and she, she sees me. She just pulls me off and like, I go to her room and we just, I want to say within 15 minutes, like, the door shutting, we were fucking. It was all good. Damn. But have she you, was like, I would, I would, I would guess she was like in her eighties. But have you? Do you ever go like roll up to like assisted livings and kind of just say hi? You've seen the show like Better Call Saul. Like he goes out with a business <laughs> card. You're like, hey, I'm the cougar fucker. You know, if you guys need a call, here's um, my number. Actually, honestly, man, my um, my my live day game is shit for the most part. So really how do you is. fuck 130? Um, they well, just I, mean, hear I use about apps. You? Like, I use the apps. I, mean, I, I do. I do practice day game. I'm just not very good at it. You're open. But, I mean, but a lot it of seems... times when I meet, huh? Sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say a lot of times whenever I meet these women in Florida, they already live in these communities anyway. Right. So I mean, I I've had sex in a lot of these communities simply because I wasn't by there so, because does, I knew her already. Does the word ever get around where she like <laughs> will refer you to other lady friends in the retirement communities? Not in a retirement community, but I have got had I have had referral sex one time. <laughs> I was seeing this lady in Florida. This happened once. I was seeing this lady in Florida, and um, she had a friend, and her, her, her apparently her, her husband, her friend's husband was an asshole, and her friend's husband just happened to be going out of town that week, and she gave her my phone number and said, "Hey, meet this guy at this place, so y'all get time." So I go to the bar. Her friend shows up. She's like, "Yeah, my friend so and so told me to meet you here." I'm like, great. And yeah, we had a blast. I want to say the friend was probably fifty three, fifty four. Do you feel like uh, it was fun? It was a good time. You feel like you have a competitive advantage because, like, with older ladies, there's like no competition at all. It's almost like you're king of the. You've got it all in lockdown. Man, I wish you were right, but that's not true at all. I mean, uh, whenever I talk to these women online, they tell me that you know they get you know, emails by young guys all the time. Huh. The thing is, though, they have so many. You know, there's so many fucking young dummies out there that'll approach women online incorrectly. You know, they thought like they're doing a woman a favor. They'll be rude. They'll do all this bullshit. So, what's so your opening I line? Approach a woman. I. It, it depends. I, mean, I, I actually, I actually read the profile and then I try to reference something in the profile. Mm. But I mean, normally I immediately go into damage control mode because I have to unfuck all the damage while these dummies that came before me. All right. Well, final question. I notice you drop in bros. Do you regularly refer to your dates as bros, or is that was that just uh, the bro? I love oh, that. Oh, <laughs> oh, about that. Okay, about that one scene in the video. The lady that I said that to, she was real. I actually do know that her. Your, she was yeah. real. That one so seemed she was, real. Huh? It seemed real. That one. So I'm, I'm happy to hear <laughs> that. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah. So, well, no, what happened with her is like she was my roommate in Florida for the longest time, and um. I moved away, then I came back, and I was moving back to Florida before that show was even an idea. So what happened with her and I was we actually dated for about two or three weeks, and we decided that we were just better as friends. So at the time, she had a roommate that she fucking couldn't stand, so she kicked that bitch out. Then I moved in, and I lived with her for about three years. But the whole time I lived with her, I was free to date, and she was free to date, and um, we actually were so friendly. We, we were buddies. We so she was bro. your bro. She but, was your bro. <laughs> Yeah, but so also, too, we would occasionally have sex, and it's fucked up with the sound, we used to call it bro sex, because it was occasional, you know, so. <laughs> that is a little twist, I'm going to agree with you on <laughs> that one. All right, Kyle? Yeah, I mean, she was really, really cool, yeah. Thanks for calling in, man. I don't know how I feel about what you're doing, <laughs> but I do feel like in a weird way, 
Well, I don't, I don't like to hear the pussy breaking that much. I know that's probably, yeah. a, you know, it's a hazard of the job. But you are bringing love yeah. and warmth into the lives of these old ladies, right? You're bringing tenderness and, um, and you just keep smashing those pussies, Doug. Thank <laughs> you.